Challenge who I am. Be feisty, be focused, be fearless, have fun, begging, power, begging, power. Good morning, everybody. Oh, we have a day for you. Aren't you happy that you're here? Say yay. Can you imagine 29 years ago? A guy <laughs> decided that women needed their own venue to be powerful, amazing, incredible, and wonderful, and joyous, and great. Can we hear yay? Yeah. Isn't it wonderful that after 29 years, we still have women saying, I'm going to lead this, I'm going to be part of this. Can we give all the meeting planners, the staff, and the volunteers an applause? And isn't it amazing, I mean, really, isn't it amazing that you were able to drive here and you didn't spill anything on yourself? <laughs> Am I the only one that does that? I just want to make sure that I'm in the right place. Has anybody ever spilled something on themselves? Okay. I got to know that you're in the right place. Has anybody worn heels and, and can't wait to put on your low shoes? Raise your hands. Has anybody ever wanted to wear suede boots when it was 98 degrees out? <laughs> Just want to let you know that I'm in the right place. <laughs> we are all a magnificent diamonds. We're all magnificent. But sometimes we don't know that. Sometimes we don't relate to that. I know that I didn't. I grew up in New York City. My mom was the first one to graduate from college. My grandmother had 14 brothers and sisters, so, and they all had a bunch of kids. She wanted to be a buyer. She wanted to be somebody, and she found herself in Philadelphia and fell in love with my dad. And quickly, she went from being a buyer to a truck stop waitress. I came along, and by the time I was six, we had moved almost 22 times in the middle of the night. My dad was a raging alcoholic and couldn't keep a job. By the time I was eight, we were living in the Bronx. My sister, Kathy, my idol, became a junkie, and then the local prostitute. She would run away almost 16 times, and my mom would go chasing after her. And then she said, I can't. I've got two other kids to take care of. You're on your own. By the time I was 10, my dad decided that it would be kind of cool to hit my mom, which really is the wrong thing to do to her. She went and got a divorce. She went to Mexico. Back then, you couldn't get a divorce in the States. She went to Mexico, got a divorce. He kidnapped us during that weekend, and she called and found her power and said, they better be on the stoop Monday at 12. You ever notice when a woman gets her power back? that nobody wants to mess with her? <laughs> Dad didn't like that idea. We came back to the house. One night he broke the house, the door of the house, came upstairs, grabbed my brother. My mother grabbed my brother. They were pulling. My brother got hit in the stomach. He ended up vomiting blood. I was screaming, no, 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 no. The cops came. They grabbed my dad. They threw him down. They arrested him, and I stood in front of the cops and said, don't take my daddy away. Don't take my daddy away. 
They released him, and a few months later, we would see him every other month. And then one day he came when I was 12 years old. He had taken my brother to California for that summer. He arrived back and he told my brother and I, I'll see you next week. I love you. And we never saw him again. To say that I was a slightly ticked off young woman would be calling it mildly. <laughs> to say that there was no way that I was going to be like my sister. No way. Because everybody would say, you're going to be just like your sister. So I got to walk, you know, this way. And I joined a gang. And I was known as the escorter. I would escort you to come with me to go get beat up. Okay, it was my first sales job. <laughs> I, I was good at it. But my mom didn't want me to go down that path. Is, are there any Girl Scouts here? Awesome. So my mom decided that that day she was going to call Girl Scouts because I was in the gang and I wore the jacket, but I would hide it from my mom because she would get really upset if she saw me wear it. So I would wear the gown and look tough like this. Mm. I could suck teeth better than money, but... I've learned now that I can't walk like this anymore because I now know why it hurts. But she signed me up with Girl Scouts. And that same day, a woman like many of you, called up Girl Scouts. She was like my Wells Fargo introdu introducer. She was a banker, a single woman, and she said, I want to do something for girls. She goes, give me your toughest girls. And that's when I met Mrs. B. <sighs> girls. See, there were three of us in the group. Myself was in one gang, Denise was in another gang, and Barbara was in another gang. And we were all in Girl Scouts. We would arrive with our gang jackets on, and we had to wear those stupid cadet hats. <laughs> with the little thing. And Mrs. B introduced to us like this. Girls. I'm not your typical Girl Scout leader. <laughs> I don't do crafts. <laughs> I don't sell cookies. <laughs> but what I'm going to do with you is to tell you how to be a strong woman. What I'm going to tell you is that you need to step up. What I'm going to tell you is that I'm going to tell you how to be a powerful woman. And we went. But Mrs. B would take us out. She'd take us from the Bronx. We'd take the train into the city to Wall Street. And she would stop people on the street. You! Stop! Now remember, we were all teenagers who tried to look cool. <laughs> but inside, what were you thinking was, O-M-G, the woman is crazy. <laughs> She'd say, you, how did you get to be so professional? What did you do? And they'd hold their pocketbooks and say, <laughs> uh, I studied hard, I went to college, and then I got a job, and I am here. And how did you deal with them? I'm sorry, I don't understand the question. <laughs> how did you deal? Oh, I just became me. Move along. <laughs> she changed my life. She changed my life. At 17, I was on the corner with a Jack's candy store with my friends, Peanuts, Rats, and Lefty. Those were the girls. 
My boyfriend was Tex, and he had tattoos when tattoos weren't cool. Do you remember those days? And he had love, but he was not a loving person. In that moment, you would have walked by me. You would have walked right by me. You would have walked to the other side of the street because I looked so mean. But inside of my heart, what I was saying was, there has got to be another way. This can't be what my life is about. Do you know what I'm talking about? You have that feeling inside that says, I'm worth more than this. And the vision of a TV and my face came up. I had no clue what that meant. I just knew that I was becoming a diamond. My whole first years, I was being grounded down like a diamond. Grounded down like when they find you in, you know, a diamond in the coal. It's all dirty. It's all filled. I'm like, grind them down. And then they polish, 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 shine. Polish, 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 shine. To become this magnificent, absolutely beautiful diamond. That's you today. You've all been grounded down. Is that correct? Say yay. yay. Are you ready to get polished up? Really? That's it? <laughs> All right, let me repeat my story. <laughs> I'm a New York City gang member. I may look polished, but I could still come out there. <laughs> Are you ready to be polished? Say yay. Yeah. So let's talk about what we're going to be talking about today is mama, if mama ain't happy, ain't nobody happy. Can you all agree with that? Say yay. Yeah. If mama ain't happy, tell me that. Ain't, happy. ain't nobody happy. And we know that because we just have to do this. <laughs> we know that we can take control of our own house when we go. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I have known that there have been times where I've been saying, why are you so angry? And I'm like, I'm happy. Am I the only one that has ever heard that? <laughs> so let's talk about today, because today we know that we're so powerful that we can absolutely transform our families, our jobs, our communities, and our country. Can I hear yay? yay? But we can't do it if we're not happy. So let's just become happy. Is that okay with you? Yeah. And I love social media. Love it, love it, love it, love it. So you can all follow me on Twitter and, and Facebook, Pegine Power, duh. But I'm going to run a contest with all of you. On Instagram, if you do hashtag Pegine Power and hashtag CCWC16, I'm going to find the person that's been posting the most, and I'm sending you a $25 Amazon gift card. Okay, let me just repeat that. I'm sending you a $25 gift card. Now, those of you that don't know what Instagram is, find somebody younger. <laughs> so if mama ain't happy, ain't nobody happy. We have to know that we have three absolute things that we keep on doing to ourselves. The first is that we're the juggler. Now, some of us are grateful that we've the juggling is a little bit over, is that correct? But you all know, you, some of you have children, yes? Some of you have dogs and cats and birds and lizards. Some of you are married, looking for love, grateful you're out of love, in partnership, correct? Oh, and then some of you work, maybe you're going to school, you're just doing, you're out there. <laughs> and then because you're here, I know you volunteer. <gasps> you're the one that they say, yes, I'll do it. <laughs> oh, it's not going to take a lot of time. You can do it. Okay. <laughs> Does anybody relate to this? Oh, <laughs> and then, of course, we all are hearing how we're supposed to be healthy, and then some of you are going to be going to some of your programs today to learn how to be healthy. <laughs> and 
and every time we're at the grocery line, she's staring at us. Oprah. And she's telling us, meditate. So this is what we all look like. Does anybody relate? And we're the ones that keep on saying, go ahead, I can do it. Go ahead, just give me a little bit more. I can do it. Is that correct? Then we're also the woman that you saw before with the, the fear. If you could put that slide up for a minute. The fear, the side of fear, which is we're always worried. We've been trained to be worried. It's like your toddler is going off to do something and we can see what they're gonna do five minutes from now, is that correct? And we're like, really dude, you didn't see that coming? Because we're trying to let go, right? But we're the ones that grab the toddler. Or with our teenagers, or with our, our friends, we're like, don't date them. Don't date them. I told you, don't date them. <laughs> we're always in this fear, worry place, looking. It's one of, it's our, our, our strength, because we could always see opportunities to protect everybody, but it's also our weakness. It's always that weakness, being the worrier, the worrier. And then we fall into the third person, the warrior or the gladiator. Don't mess with my family. You know what you've all done. What happened? What happened? Oh, that did not happen. What? I'll be right there. <laughs> and as we're going, we transform. Get out of my way! I'm coming! Does anybody relate to that? So we're always being the protector, we're always taking care of it. But what about us? Can you all take your hands like this? and go, but what about us? One, two, three. What about us? That's right, so what about us? Let's start talking about us. Let's start sharing about us because what we're gonna be talking about is here's for you to be feisty, fearless, focused, and fun. What does that mean? I've been the juggler. I'm the juggler now. I take care of my 90, my 87-year-old mom that's paralyzed. She's in a wheelchair. I'm the primary caregiver because family members aren't stepping up. I know I'm not the only one here to say that. So I juggle, but I had to learn to let some things go so I could take care of myself. I am the worrier. I worry about my kids, they're both soldiers. I worry about who they are. By the way, are there any veterans here? Can you please stand up? People that have served our country, can you please stand? Thank you. If there are any parents here, parents of soldiers, sailors, or those who serve in the military, please stand. Please stay standing, don't sit down. Don't sit down, don't sit down, don't sit down. There are a few of us that understand what it takes to sign those papers. what it takes when our 20-year-old decides to serve. We see them become our kids to becoming in the military, to serve our country. 
for all of you. From me, who knows what it's like when they get deployed, when they're home, I'm hugging you, I'm loving you, and I'm thanking you for your service. Thank you. So be feisty, be fearless, be focused, be fun. That was my saving grace, was me being able to tell myself, I can be feisty, because I am. I can be focused, I am. I can be fearless, and I can have fun. And I want you to do the same, is that okay? So can you all just say to me, be feisty, be, feisty. be, fearless. be fearless, be focused, be focused. Have, fun. have fun. Now I got to tell you, you all get a sense of who I am, yay? We know that we're not going to make this simple. We're going to have some fun. So I want you to take your hands, I want you to point to that wall. You're going to go, snap. One, two, three. Snap. So it's going to be like this. Watch me. Watch me. Be feisty. Be fearless, be focused, and then you're gonna be cool. Have fun. <laughs> One, two, ready, go. Be feisty. Be, be focused. Now, we're gonna be talking about this during the day, but say yay. yay. Because I gotta tell you, if we don't walk through the day by saying, woo, be feisty, be fearless, be focused, have fun, you haven't gotten your money's worth. Can I hear yay? I need you to be driving in the cars when you leave tonight to say, whoo, I'm ready. Be feisty, be fearless, be focused and fun. You gotta walk into that house and he's gonna look at you and go, oh. <laughs> and you're gonna say, oh yeah. <laughs> be feisty, be fearless, be focused, have fun. He won't know what hit him. Your kids won't know what hit him, and you all yourself looking at yourself won't know what hit him. So let's talk about what this means. Let's talk about be feisty. Now, I'm gonna tell you, there's an, my Instagram people, there's hashtag be feisty. We talked about the hashtag no limits. Do you all hands go like this? Go hashtag. No, not 50 of you, 2,000 of you. Go like this. Go hashtag no limits. Hashtag, Hashtag. No, limits. no limits. So let's talk about be feisty. I love about being feisty. Being feisty is being able to say to yourself, I love me. Be feisty is that part of you that goes, yeah, I'm here. <laughs> be feisty is for you to do what I'm gonna ask you to do every morning. Let me ask you a question. Have you ever seen somebody love a dog? The dog goes out, it's raining. Well, years ago it was raining. <laughs> the dog went out, it would rain. The dog would come to the door all wet and muddy. <laughs> and you, the owner, would go, oh, you're a dirty dog. You're a dirt, am I showing stuff? You're a dirty dog. You're a dirty dog. Oh, I love you, love you. Don't, 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 don't do that. Don't you shake. No, no, no. You silly dog. Am I right? They do that. Or if you've had a little kid and they've been sick, they feel bad and the bubbles start coming out of their nose. <laughs> They're sweating. I feel sick. You're dressed up to go to your meeting. And you say, oh, I love you so much. I love you, it's okay. And then they throw up on you. <laughs> Do you say, you stupid kid. Do you say to that kid, I hate you. No, you go, it's okay, mommy loves you so much, grandma loves you so much, it's okay. And you go, and you change, is that correct? So why is it that when you walk out of a shower and you're nude and you're wet and you look in the mirror, you go,
Why do we do that? Why don't we say to ourselves when we come out of the mirror, ooh, <laughs> you are gorgeous. Check you out. You are just mm, 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 perfect. Oh, do I love you. I love you. I, I love you so much. I think you're the most magnificent thing on this earth. You were made to be here. I love you. I really think you're awesome. And you're great. Why don't we say that to ourselves? Usually because we've been trained to beat ourselves up. We've been trained to tell ourselves that we aren't good enough. We've been trained to be worriers. We've been trained to be jugglers. We've been trained to make ourselves move so fast to help everybody else to not help ourselves. And yet, if you and I spent just 30 seconds in the morning, wet, nude, and beautiful, and said, I am wet, nude, and beautiful, <laughs> would you change? Would you be happier, yay or nay? If you knew in your heart of heart that when you were looking at your eyes that you were giving yourself such a love fest and got to your soul and to see the magnificence of who you are, do you think you might have a different impact at work? Do you think that your family would recognize you as a different person? As you walk through the house and go, and they'd all be there like, who are you? <laughs> and we can go and get caught up then into the negativity. But I'm going to challenge you. Be feisty. 30 seconds. Make sure that you're saying to yourself how much you love you. Take your hands and touch your head. Say bubbles. I need you to pra take your head and wrap it in bubble wrap. <laughs> wrap it in bubble wrap so that number two, People can't bother you. They could go, pop, and I'm like, yeah, but I'm great. <laughs> pop, ooh, I'm so good. <laughs> pop, don't ever think you're going to get to my head because I know how good I am. <laughs> Imagine if you walked with bubble wrap. Because I do it just like you. When somebody says to me, all they have to do is like, really, that's what you're wearing? I can do this. <laughs> right? I know I'm not the only one that does it. But if I have my bubble wrap and they go, really? That's what you're wearing? Yes, it is. <laughs> I'm stylish. What's your problem? <laughs> is there a difference, yay or nay? Yay. Have we both been both sides? Say yes. yes. The difference is when we're strong, when we keep the bubble wrap, we're able to do the, the second part. When we're not strong and we let the bubble wrap go, we have to keep on moving on. So are you willing to be strong. Say yes. yes. Let's talk about the next part, which I think is, I don't know what's happening behind me. Oh, there we are. Really? I, new code word. When you see this, you start singing. Let me go back one. Ready? Okay, ladies, stand up. Oh, I, I got to tell you, you all, I'm the wake up speaker, so this is your chance to, to use your minutes, your 10,000 steps. If you can't stand, I need you to move your arms. If you're not moving, you're not grooving with me. So we're going to be go, boom, 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 boom. Ready? One, two, ready, go. Be feisty. Be fierce. Be focused. Again. I love you, by the next time you'll be doing the hip movement too. You know, if, if you don't know how to, I'm, I'm from, I'm Puerto Rican, so we do the salsa. So by the time we end, you'll all be doing the salsa with me. 
So when we talk about be feisty, we have to have be fearless. And be fearless is one of our challenges. Remember I talked about the warrior part. The warriors sometimes, and, and the scared part, we sometimes don't know what fear does to us. We don't have, we're not fearless. You know what fearless stands for? People think false evidence appearing real. They have some other concept. For me, fear is future endeavors accepting rewards. That's what fear is. Fear is the holy Mac, but there's those future endeavors who give us the rewards. When I was with my son, we were in Disneyland. And we were on that big loop-de-loop, -loop. we're on the line. And we're on the line. But we're moving a lot faster than the line. <laughs> and the closer you get, then you start hearing this. And the closer we're getting, the slower the line becomes. The slower the line becomes, the more I start freaking out. But we've already spent an hour on the line, so do I get off? Or do I stay on? I'm staying on and I'm with him because my husband hates these rides, so he's with my daughter with the bags. And I'm saying, I'm really scared about this. I'm so scared. I, I, I can't do this, Kenneth. I can't, just can't do this. I can't do this. Oh my gosh, what am I doing? I'm going to pee in my pants. Oh my gosh, don't do this. Why are you taking, I got to go to the bathroom. I can't do it. No, don't do this. This is the problem when you're a motivational speaker and your children were raised around you. <laughs> my son says, Mom, at 12, he sounded like that. <laughs> you're a motivational speaker. Just shift your experience. You ever had that moment when you want to kill them because they're using their words on you? And I said, well, what do you mean? He said, well, excitement is the same emotion as being afraid. You feel the same way, just change your words. Shift your experience. Fine. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm enthusiastic. He said, say it louder. Do it more. You tell all the women to do it, you do it. Be that person, mom. So I'm the line in Disney. Come on, everybody. We're excited. We're thrilled. Isn't this wonderful? Aren't we excited? Aren't we excited? Ah! I'm so excited to have my lungs screaming. Can you all scream with me? One, two, three. Exactly, that's what the ride sounded like. <laughs> but now I was excited. So are you excited about your life? Are you excited about the fear? Are you willing to change your perspective? Are you willing to say yes when you, your, your insides are screaming, no, no, I don't want that promotion, I'll fail. I don't know how to do it. And everybody says, you can, you can. And you want to go, no! I want you to start going and saying, yes, yes, yes. Not working for you, huh? <laughs> How about maybe? Can we hear maybe? Maybe. Maybe is better than no, is that correct? Let's make sure that we're at least saying maybe. But I do want you to get to a point where you can say yes. How many of you want your daughters to say yes to opportunities? Yes. How many of you see your brilliance in your daughters? Yes. How many of you want your daughters to do stuff that you never did? Yes. You don't want them to hear, you want them to go, I am woman, here I throw, the number's too big, too big, right? We want that for them, but we have to be the role models for them. I don't care whether you're 87 or 17. 
It's time for us to step up. It's time for us to take charge of our happiness. It's time for us to smile. Would you all take your fingers and touch your ears? Now, what I want you to do is I want you to get the corners of your mouth <laughs> to reach these fingers. <laughs> One, two, ready, go. <laughs> your whole day, if I catch you, trust me, if I see you and you look like this, <laughs> watch me. If you're around people and they're looking like this, code word. Your energy grows by you being enthusiastic. Your energy goes by you saying yes. Your energy grows by you saying yes, I can. Say yes, I can. Yes, I can. So let's make sure that we're taking those right steps. Let's make sure we're being the person we want to be. Let's make sure we're creating a life for ourselves. And here's our next slide, which I, my thing is not working. So somebody tell me what the next slide is. Go back one slide. <laughs> I know that the last slide we stood up, remember I'm your wake-up speaker. I, my goal is to get you to burn 10,000, all that bagel that you just had. When you see the slide, you step up and you go. Ready, one, two, three, next slide. One, two, ready, go. Again. I love you, thank you. Now I know something, the more that we stand, the more that we get involved, the more excited we get, the more interaction we have for our own life. I've gone through rough times. Let me tell you something, when I've worked with, um, I bring groups of women leaders together and I have professional role players. We help these women practice being feisty, fearless, focused, and strong, and fun. We want them to puke with us. <laughs> My job is to prod, provoke, and push them. Because as women, we never get the practice to be strong leaders. We're kind of thrown into the world. When we do our situational training exercises, the women get a chance to be feisty, to be fearless, to be focused, and have a do-over. So when they're doing their activities, they'll break down, they'll get in tears, they'll get angry, and then we say, stop. What was going on with you? What was coming up with you? Let's do it again. Do it again, and we work with political leaders women who have run for office, both sides of the house. We work with entrepreneurs who want to go after big money. We work with corporate executives who spend a lot of time going nee, 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 even though they look like this, but inside they're afraid. What about you? What are you doing to practice? We had feisty, fearless, Focus. Let me make sure that we're at focus here. Are you having fun? But I'm not even talking about here. Are you having fun at home? Are you going at home? Juicy's here. Are you going to go kayaking? Are you going to ride a motorcycle? Who are my motorcycle riders here? Are you going down a slide with the toddler? Are you saying to yourself, I can't do it, but I'll try. Are you doing the salsa? You know, really, life is really two steps forward, one step back. Two steps forward, then for women, ching, ching. Because I want you to have money, honey. Can we say yay? yay? One step back. Actually, can you all stand up and face that wall? Put one hand up facing the back wall. The other touching your belly. 
Take two steps forward. Bend your knees a little bit, go ching, ching. And one step back. One, two, three. Two steps forward, ching, ching. One step back. Oh, yeah. Two steps forward, ching, ching. One step back. Let's say that we're having fun. Say yay. yay. Making money is fun. Today you're going to hear some amazing speakers. My friend Elizabeth McCormick is going to be doing a session here. Macy's is doing a fashion show for women who are all sizes to look magnificent. We have a, someone talking about Social Security, but I told her, hey, she's not talking about Social Security. She's talking about how to make money, honey, with Social Security. Can I hear yay? There are so many. There are people talking about how to take care of food and cook food. There are going to be people that are going to help you be fearless and fantastic. Can I hear yay? yay? This is all about you. Remember I talked about being grinded down and then polished. This is your day. This is your day. And I want to let you know that I'm going to be for you to celebrate you. I'm going to be at my booth in the back. And usually, this is the time where you had the chance to see so many products. And I have so much that I want to share with you. So much that I love about you and I want you to celebrate you. I want you to be the diamond. I want you to know that my heart is with you all the time. So we have products for you. A whole bag so you can go into stadiums. All of my CDs, look, check this out, are here. My book, 50 Secrets for a Feisty, Fearless, Focused Females, is here. And all of my books. But the problem is this. My husband did the packing. <laughs> so I only have 19 of them. So the 19 here, if you want, the, if you're not the first 19, you won't get it. Well, you won't get the package with you. We'll ship it to you. Let me change that. He'll ship it to you. <laughs> so let's just make sure that you have a great day. Are you sure that you're saying hashtag no limits in your life, in your days, in your life? Let's make sure that you're driving out through this whole community going, be feisty, be fearless, be focused, have fun. Let's just say one more time, tell California, woo, we're here. Say, California, I'm here. California, California I love myself. I am polished. I'm ready to take on this world. I'm absolutely, positively glad that I don't have high heels like this on. Let's do it one more time, ladies. Ready? One. <laughs> this is the last time, I promise you, so I'll wait. Now, let me tell you something. We got to get some hip movement here. Ready? One, two, ready, go. Be nasty, be fearless, be close. Louder! Somebody that has Facebook Live going. <laughs> Somebody that has anything going. <laughs> come here, come here. All right, my reporter is going. Ready? This is going out to everybody. One. Are you ready? Yep. Are you sure? I'm ready. <laughs> Do you think she's ready? Yeah. Let's go. One, two, ready, go. I love you all. Thank you.